inside here, and then, and then it goes to these gears, and, uh, and then a worm here, right here, and then uh, you can see it, it's originated here. And the function of this unit is just a spring? That is a spring that keeps this this way. So it's a lace spring, it's adjustable down there, and then I have, if I need a little extra, then, then there's these two canister springs right there, and I push those down, it gives it a little bit more. Uh, there's two, two more gears, and I just changed gears, and there's square holes. Yeah, they're, yeah, it's pretty cool. You have to get them in the right order, otherwise it's not a half thousand, it's a one and a half thousand. Slow motion cutting. Slow motion cutting. And then we put it in a, a pressure pot. And, and it, it comes out without bubbles. And it falls. Yeah, really nice. That's very cool. Yeah. Have you written anything on the frosting? Yes, I haven't. But the, my friend who, who turns the stuff, he wrote an article. See, when it starts getting violent, you know, then I'll, I'll, I'll turn it over. And that would have meant the vocabulary getting violent. Well, it was. It was you know, <laughs> I don't want to hurt the road. So you can't quite walk away. Uh, sometimes the, the I've found where the man of the you want to keep it alive. You want to keep it from the bulk of the but that's looking uh, that's looking pretty cool. It's a uh, it's a uh, uh, high speed seal. Yeah, high speed seal. Mostly it's the geometry.
So the motor's turning, but the lathe isn't. So it's always there. Cuts my head off. <laughs> what color do you use for that barley corn there? Except for color, what kind of color? Well, I used one of Dave's. You know, you put it in the drill. So I put it in the in that uh, ER16 because I like that one. And um, and it's the one of Dave's small ones with the eccentric, you know, and then uh, it's a steel cutter, but I grind it different. I grind it to a 112 included, and I think you get a better reflection. You don't have to go as deep. And... Not necessarily the center, um, because so what you're seeing is on the outside edge, and so I'll, I'll go in and, and, uh, and I'll hand crank it across and just let it mill that shape. And then when I index it and cut it, it uh, it's the same all the way around. I'm not cutting the corner or something. But if you go a little deeper, you know, it gets a little wider and you can close those gaps. So I was doing 96s. There's some over there, but I didn't like them. They were too small. So I went to 72s, you know, 72 circles. And, um, and I like that better. There's, there's one over there that came out exceptionally well. And What's the maximum you have over there? I'm sorry? What's the maximum number of circles you have over there? 96. 96. On the, on the barley corns on the outside edge? Yeah. Yeah, 96. On the outside edge, how about on the face? On the face? No, I, I, have, I haven't done those. I didn't show anything like that. See it getting better, but it's this, is, this is coming to it. Yeah, and it's, it's being stopped by that right there. Sorry. No problem. Yeah, those are, that's a 72. No. No, I, I don't particularly like that. I don't either. Oh, yeah, I, 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 uh, I actually index it, you know, with the, uh, the index banner. Yeah. No, it's not a rosette. It's, it's a hole. Index. Watch, watch, watch. See this? See this here? It's a spring-loaded pin that goes in these holes. And so I do them individually. Make a cut. Index it. Make a cut. That's actually. That's the old way. Yeah.